x bar y bar so we've converted the numerator okay into a different form the numerator now looks like this so the covariance so the covariance of x y can actually be written now as n times the x y the cross product of the x's with the y's minus the uh, well the average of the cross products of the x's with the y's minus the average of the x's times the average of the y's all divided by n minus 1 all divided by n minus 1 there's another form of this equation okay or so you have this particular of this particular thing where we've no longer got summations what we have is we actually just have the averages uh, okay so that's another form uh, well let's just actually have a look at this here let's just let's just concentrate on what's on, on this particular term here and let's actually convert it away from averages averages and everything into sigma notations okay so let's have a look at this once again okay so what we have is we have something like this so just concentrating on the numerator again so let's say concentrating concentrating on n times the sum the xy bars minus the x bar y bars converting these into sigmas this becomes it's n times well the average of the xy's is the same as this is going to be the sum of the xy's over n and in this case here this is minus well the average of the x's is the sum of the x's over n and that needs to be multiplied by the sum of the the y's over n okay what does that give us well that gives us well when we multiply in by the n the n's cancel out so this gives us the sum of the xy's minus and one of the n's is going to cancel here n times this n squared uh, n times one over n squared here n times n is n squared and when we multiply the numerator by n one of the n's is going to cancel out so this leaves us with the sum of the x's the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's over n so here's another form of the equation so now from this we have that the covariance of x y okay can also be written as now once again don't forget this was the numerator that we evaluated earlier on down to this was the numerator we evaluated earlier on so it can now be written as okay well this summation okay of the cross products is actually going to change okay the summation of the cross products is going to change to this term here so it's the sum of the x y's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's all over n all over n minus one and people might recognize that particular formula there okay and um, as something that they've seen before so this is another form of that particular equation okay and finally maybe what we could do is we could just make this a little bit neater here through common denominators okay i suppose really what we're doing is instead of multiplying <coughs> from here we get a common denominator okay so the common denominator is an n okay so considering 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 let's say the sum of the x y's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's over n this actually becomes well the common denominator is an n so this becomes n times the sum of the x y's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's okay uh, which is the same as well I suppose this is 1 over n okay this is 1 over n times the n times the sum of the xy's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's okay now when we substitute that back in here uh, we end up with the covariance of xy is equal to it's 1 over n times n times the sum of the xy's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's that's all over n minus 1 which is a factor here and a factor here so this actually becomes n times the sum of the x y's minus the sum of the x's times the sum of the y's all over n times n minus one okay which is our covariance okay so this is our this is also our covariance so this is another another form of the covariance formula okay guys uh, once again this was jonathan lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the national college of ireland and what I've tried to do in this particular video is to show you uh, some of the different forms uh, of the covariance formula. Because I'm always being asked, oh, my lecturer uses a different form of that particular that particular uh, formula. Uh, are these equivalent and so on? So you can actually see what we've derived is we've derived four forms. Well, we have the definition form of the covariance. Uh, from that, we converted this into, into a form where we just have averages of our, of our variables, of the x variable, the y variable, and the cross products of them. Uh, from that, then, we converted it back into a situation where we just have sigmas of the x variable the y variable and the cross product 
and then from this we just made it a little bit neater okay uh, where we got common denominators to give us this particular form this particular form of the equation here or of the f of the formula here so guys once again this was Jonathan Lambert with the mathematics development and support service at the National College of Ireland I uh, hope this uh, video was intuitive and more importantly I hope that was helpful for you so thank you for watching okay bye bye